T side starts. So we don't have to worry about these classic, you know, struggle streak starts on the T side for NIP. They've got a little bit more room here to impress us in the first half. But is that going to be enough? We'll have to wait and see. I think they're going to need a pretty, uh, a pretty wealthy bank of rounds here if they want to make this one happen. Plopsky's got the info. He knows what's happening. He knows the B push is afoot. Rez only good for the first. It's Apex and Masuta with the openers. Yeah, Kyoto still checked that, even with the bait jump, right? And so that doesn't give Rez the chance to hold his shot and wait for players to cross out two for one into the B bomb site. Vitality, very comfortable right now. P250, double USP. They've got that range game as much as Nip do. And it, well, they'll show it. Silenced his hampers back in market. Masuta wanting to clean up even more. And this clock is just ticking down right now. Nip know the round is slipping through their fingers and they can't grasp onto it. It's too slippery. Masuta Apex, double fighting Forest. S tag pinned in by the bin, does get one. But this round is finished as Vitality take the pistol and start strong on their pick. Yeah, and you know, that's even with that kind of, you know, cute little bait and switch set up over in the apartments. You, you touched upon that, right? How even though the bait jump comes in, they still check the, uh, they still check the cubby. They catch that double opener. And, you know, from that point on, once you've lost that in like a two for one trade into the B site on a pistol, yeah. you're already in a pretty bad way, right? So NIP, that one goes against them. But I'm going to hold my breath. I'm going to wait till we get to see, you know, oh, I didn't realize that was how Zaiwu got that kill. Okay, okay. Yeah, you know, that's... Hey, you shouldn't be surprised, come on. Yeah, Did you watch Inferno? That's true. This guy's pretty good. I've heard that. Alice Pop, but four USPs. Nip don't decide to force up. Pretty rare to see a CT side just give it up that easy, right? Not go in with the uh, second round force. But let's see how it works out. They got a nice A hole three here. Already five rotates coming in. Device Molly below him. He might have something here. Double up. He's got a gun as well. Device can win this round on his own, but he can't find a third. Aim punch is his put down. And even though everyone is low, it's only a USP. You would love anything more. Can Hampus give it to us? Flashed off. Bomb planted. And no guns to retrieve, but a headshot will start it. This is so weird. It's an armorless USP, but with both these players so low, it's oh. not as wild as you might think. Luckily enough, Apex, uh, two players survive with Vitality. Now you come in with your investment. That's pretty nice for NIP. Yeah, that's, uh, that's more than you would really expect with a full eco like that. Shame device picks the Galil. I mean, it's not up to him. He just pr grabs the first gun he can. The Galil over the AK at the back of Palace because he probably would have found that third kill if it was the AK. Galil was closer though. Hampers fighting mid freely and he does take one, but even a nade, a molly, anything would do it to clean him up. And so his team have to move in to try and help out. Rez does do that. Kyojin trades though. Man down on Vitality, but this is not a clean round for NIP. They have two significantly low players. Round is very open right now. Vitality are going to regroup back on that A-bomb site. Only one man there. You don't have a kit for a retake either. So Estag, he needs to thin the herd if this is to be an A-play. Vitality don't group through T-spawn. They go back to middle. Device is only holding for the cat cross. And a bit of a fake smoke towards the top of Con. As Device's angle gone, but has he got a gap? Oh, they're going to try and, you know, go for the uh, stairs creep, right? You've got this top con smoke in. Now you try to make your presence known over in con. You can get out. You can try to get to stairs and use that to peek on in. Well, this tag back in CT, he's not in too much danger from the mid wrap. And Nip actually have a very good idea as to what's happening in this round. It's no longer a mystery. They're rotating everyone over. There's the opener uh -oh. from Vitality. Kyojin going to nab it. We'll get silenced after the first. It's still up in the air with that bomb down, though. Vitality not looking to play too safe around it, right? Both these players fairly committed to engagements, to fights, and there's Shox winning out the first, but it's going to be the first of many to come if Vitality do want to get this round over the line. Shox with a double, and now only S-Tag left. He's brought it down into a clutch of his own, a 1v1 tap on the no bomb. Way. Actually, it's the commitment. It's the full no 10 way. seconds fading. Apex, you've got to get him off of it, and he will. Vitality are up onto three.
And they might have been a man down. They might have been clutching at straws. They might have been out in the open. They still managed to emerge victorious. Unbelievable round out of Vitality. Great teamwork to come into that A play as well, right? The Util's in the wrong hand. Shox has to smoke jungle from Palace, and then Apex flashes him into the A site from Con. Vitality walk their own smoke. And yeah, it looks optimistic to stick the to stick the defuse there. If there's a kit, I think that's a far better play, but that smoke has been down for time, man. That was gonna fade halfway through the defuse. All Apex has to do is poke his head out. And and so he shall. Rough round for Nip. And now it's even less, just pistols. Vitality looking to start as strong as they did back on Inferno. It was rounds before NIP were on the board. And this shouldn't be one of them. Got some armor behind their deagles, though. Yeah, after S tag didn't get shot stick in the bomb i think he was under the impression that apex had actually wrapped you know and like headed into yeah i mean there's like so many post. places there's so much that could have been happening there was that little moment earlier on as well in like the uh uh the the, the, the tyler g2 game where like the bomb's stuck and hunter's over in con and it's all getting a bit confused and then the round gets lost right with the uh the 10 second stick happening i think s tag was trying to replicate that magic this round zywoo's found the opener and once more, it's another one of these con creeps in towards an A play. With Kyojin winning that fight a wrap, mate, A is wide open. There is no one here. The red carpet has been rolled out for you. And so you're going to go in and get that bomb down. Looking for the 4-0. Oh. Device would love to get gifted an AK. Shocks is not going to give him the satisfaction. It's Apex from range take out the deagle just jumping and being put down six feet in fact it's Propsky and a one on five and the one man he didn't have armor in this round so even less hope than before nothing to be done four and oh five standing at the end of things and now nip can come in with guns yet again we should have that open device right ct mirage he had enough he's going right for it try and stop these mid swings that have been coming out from vitality ever since they've had rifles middle has been their control Even with that failed window smoke. Your son is, you know, kind of a, a little worrisome as well, isn't it? Like, you know, you think back to that previous map of Inferno. Well, we had Apex, we had Masuta, we had Zaiwu. Those were like really the, the kind of trifecta that was showing up, right? Well, Apex keeping it going. Zaiwu hasn't really had to do too much just yet. But we have guys like, you know, Kyojin really has been someone who's opened up a lot of these rounds so far over on this T side. He's been someone who's, you know, right at the front of the action, cracking bomb sites open. If we can get oh. that out of him, it's even more players ah. getting activated for Vitality. In this round, it's Apex breaking. Breaking the silence again. The clash of the IGLs sees Apex come out ahead. But well, S-Tag tucking in at the stairs. They are coming through this, but it's all up in the air. It's a bit of a coin toss now. They aren't looking at it. They aren't looking at S-Tag. That smoke fades oh. and they will flick back. Oh, two kills come in from Device and Rez trying to make something of this round. It's a tag to Masuta, not the killing blow. It's going to go both ways, and Device might just have to taper off and give a bit of respect over. Instead, he's peeking through the Molotov. He's peeking through the fire, but flashed off the angle. Eventually, is to concede. Bomb now down. Vitality in the three-on-three. -three. Plopsky steals that advantage back, but look at Apex going. Jeez, Louise running at them. It's only Masuta alone at ramp, and finally, Plopsky comes in big with a hat-trick to find NIP there first. Can't imagine you're going to get many moments like that out of Apex yeah, I mean, in those three-on-threes. But he's just trying to go element of surprise, run him down, get that, you know, one-on-two chance at something over towards the stairs. It looks crazy, but if he doesn't do it in a two-on-three, you know that Nip are just going to methodically retake your, your limited to ramp in Tetris. You have really no post part position. You have Util on Nip. They have the advantage. Like, Apex is just doing anything he can to, to stop that getting out of control. If he sits back, NIP come to you, and they probably clear you anyway. So it's a nice attempt, but... All those con smoke walks in the round do finally work out for Nip. And Plopsky, hey, he was the guy who was holding it together in that first map as well, right? It took Device some time to get warmed in, even though he ended top. It was Plopsky from the start that was uh, playing well, so reassuring to see him keep that up. Zywoo's up. And Device in B, he hits a tag. Man, orbs, they're just, I don't know what they're doing today. Someone's lowered the caliber. Campus peaks. Does, Does he hit this? Flick? Yeah, all right. Oh, Just... oh, oh, one step ahead. Oh, oh dear. He would have hit the flick. Yeah, he would have. <laughs> <laughs> S tag. 
Gonna claim another life in the meantime. So when I pee, all right, trying to make something of this. Trying to come in with their second. Kyojin playing around the smokes in Khan. That's a little awkward for Hampus. And now he even spots device up on top of Ticket. He's starting to piece together exactly where these players are. Device does have some support from S Tag over in Palace, but even then, like, look at Apex, right? He's here to try and deal with that. Rez now gone, S Tag dead. Suddenly, Device has got to try and hold down this A bomb site all alone. Apex doesn't know, Apex doesn't know. Whoa. Device is scoped in, and ooh, oh no, Whoa. it's a missed shot out of Device, and there's Kyojin to deal with him. Only Plopski left, and it would be another 3K needed. Oh, dearie oh, me, Device. That's harrowing, mate. That is, they didn't know, they didn't check him. He had all the sound in the world. He knew they were con. He heard them off Balk. Ah, just the panic miss. I mean, yeah, if he doesn't take that shot anyway, Kyojin was still swinging stairs, but he would have loved Device to take down one with him to give Plopski a reason to attempt it. But now there is none. And so the round is won by Vitality. 5-1 up on the T side again. Really good start out of the gate from the French. And very little to work with moving forward. Nip likely just going to uh, go by around this AK. Dude, it's kind of insane as well because it felt like every every contingency uh, was was accounted for and planned for on the Vitality side. Like, you know, you, you lose res. I think it was uh, to shocks, right? When that one comes in, you're not worried yet. You've still got this gnarly little hold split between Palace and Sight of, uh, of I think it was what, Device and Hampus over the... It's going to start B with three. Straight out ramp for Zywoo. But smoke is going to cut him off. All right. All right. What have we got here? A little corner boost, but no one's at ticket. No one's at stairs. You won't be able to find much off this. Oh, my. It's a cool boost. Okay. Finally, this, one, this one hits. This one takes down shots. No, that's actually a, that's a nice start to this round for Nip, right? Device, he's had a go at taking these opening peaks, and as you say, sometimes it has just been these tags without the kills coming through. Well, now, finally, you're in this five on four. It's going to free up some resources, you might think, to help out at A, but s -tag, mate, they are in. Oh, no way. They are way. in. They are here, and he's shot in the back of the head. Everyone else for NIP is over towards B. Everyone else is on the complete other side of the map, and so Vitality... I don't even think, you know, it's kind of surprising to them that this site was so free. They almost don't believe it, but they get the bomb down. You do have a T-spawn wrap in Hampus, right? That is something. But even then, timing's important. He has to get that kill right. He has to deal with Kyojin. So now the element of surprise is gone. He's acting as like a bit of a red herring, but Zaiwu sniffed him out and has dealt with the player in the back. A three on three. Smoke on the bomb falls a little short. That's very awkward. Device trying to hold for the peak at ramp, but the flashes get him off the angle. They haven't even tapped the bomb yet. Oh. Apex dead, and suddenly zaiwoo has got to do it all. Oh. While he's nailed the first, they're on the bomb already. And so Nip do actually come through with the very, very late retake there. Well, there was a clat on the horizon, wasn't there? You were feeling it, but yeah, couldn't get the shot off in time. Cover is there for Nip. Just bodies being thrown at ramp, and just enough to get the defuse off. Very scary rounds for Nip, but hey, if you're converting, then you've got to be happy. Hampus at least got the info. Uh, even though he dies here, the, the heavy setup on ramp, right? There's no flanks coming in. You don't have to worry about that late con play. It's double ramp setup, so they just go straight for the bomb stick. It's not the end of the world for Vitality, but it may be the end of the money. Two AKs, that's all they can muster. Leaning towards B. That's what Nip read into in the previous round. Well, now it's weaker than ever. Only one man committed. Rez is so deep fighting middle, and he's got his attention on Apex for good reason. Shocks. Oh, he sees him last second. Flicks back to Plopski, and the entry is in. The site is lost, but you don't have the range to fight back against Rez. You need ri uh, rifles to come and help out. Zywoo trying to do that. Apex's AK is very late as What's it wraps doing? the back of A site. Okay. He's hoping to backstab on the long con, but if Nip okay. try and save, he's going to be there to stop it as well. Oh my god, and they are actually saving Apex. He is so far ahead. He is light years in the future. The crazy part about this is like Nip don't even know that there's all deagles on Vitality. There's only two guns. Okay, you die, but you're too far away to be incentivized back into the retake. That could have been around for Nip, right? No idea what they were up against. And it's already too late to care. Vitality get out with all the loot. 
Oh, this could be something. Oh, no. Nice couple of exits out of Hampus, and he's out of there, out like a light, isn't he? Oh, and then oh. back in, and then out again. Shake it all about. Yeah, I love to see it. Well, if I just last round. Yeah, back to middle. Is there going to be a solution? Device wants to provide. He's made the jump. Running right down middle, and Apex is gone. Lovely shot as the dink is not enough. Still have a heavy B setup now. Device is rerouted through Cat, so he's going to be here to stop the B play. Even though he's leaving, it's about to be clear as day where the Frenchmen are ending up. Flash will do it. Rez from a range nice. picks off shocks, and now it's up to Propsky at the back of the bomb site. He does find one. Rez gone. Device, oh, just grabs that shot as Kyojin falls in, and Zaiwu with it all to do in the one on four. Grabs one, but they're all chasing him down. No room to breathe for Zaiwu, and Device has a round on the AWP. It was about time. Three kills and three. Three on the board for the Swedes. Yeah, and if you want to look at silver linings here, you know, if you want to look, if you're an NIP fan hoping that, that they can pull this back, or maybe you just want this to go three because you're a fan of, you know, counter strike, good counter strike, and you want to have a long series on our hands. If you want to look for silver linings, it's that Zai Wu, the guy who was causing you so many problems on that previous map, the guy that causes everyone so many problems, he's having a pretty quiet game right now. Device has kind of been outshining him in the in the in the head to head a lot of a lot of the time. And even though guys like Kyojin are trying to fill that void, Apex is still keeping up appearances. It's no denying that Zai Wu is always the star of this team. And so with him. Being a little quieter, maybe that gives you a little bit more room if you're NIP. Maybe that's something to hold on to. This round, Hampus and Rez have opened it up. They're only up against these pistols, so you know, it wasn't really much of a hope for Vitality. It's quick, it's clean, and it's four on the board for NIP. Yeah, very reassuring round, right? Not letting that get weird at all. Uh, building a lot of cash for later. Vitality, they may have the lead, but the momentum has swapped significantly for Nip. Couple of gun rounds. And now wealth to fall back on. Do we have the orb though for vitality? It doesn't look like it unless it's been thrown over already. Flat rifles, even limited util as well. They get the window smoke in, but device is again making that quick cat jump up and he's missed the timing. They're already out, they're very wide and Zai Wu beats him on the head to head for a change. He's got the AK and he's put it to good use already outside of the connector seconds into the round and it will be that quick a split Shox has jumped out palace with a flashbang that kept s tag back he's got to wait for res to come in and help out they know they have him trapped right now or they believe they do but yet to see him flash shocks now pushed off and somehow kyojin just off of the back of the plant gets that kill res has been seen in spawn and plopsky is there as well vitality only know about one but at this point, Nip might not even be going for this. And it seems like Vitality yet again are aware. Apex is hunting in the 5 on 2 deep down B apartments. I was even walking in under. Vitality are pushing CT. There is no oh. room for Nip. <laughs> even though Popsky grabs that kill, he's backing right, up into enemy there? territory. There's no... Oh, damn, he got it. All right, well, here we go. How Popsky much longer? and Rez, can they get away? Rez yeah. can't. Here come the wolves. Apex. Oh, woo! He's looking for you. Ah, Plopsky will survive and hold on to that M4. Yeah, and we still have money, right? So it's fine for Nip. You know, it's not over just yet. But Device getting caught oh. by that very quick mid play. You go, by the way, yeah. never do a wolf howl again. You reminded me of a real. And a lot of presence towards oh Hey, they are coming at you and they're oh coming device. at you. Force Device, you are a dead man. Spammed out by Zaiwu. S tag over here on Palace. And oh, there's Apex there, but there's a lot more. Where that came from, it's a lot of damage out of S Tag. The flash almost enables him to get three, regardless of the outcome. You know, he might not have got the third, but he still repelled this A offensive. He sent Vitality away. Oh, that fast little A play you were hoping to get, and that little cheeky opening kill onto Device. Yeah, forget about it. S Tag has made them completely go back to the drawing board here. Now they group up over in the apartment. Shocks kind of lost to the hands of time over in middle. When that smoke fades, it's going to become pretty tricky for him to get out of this spot. He's having to keep so much in check right now. Short, window, you know, connector. He could get peeked from anywhere. 
If he finds impact, that's going to be impressive. <gasps> Shocks. Oh, no. Had his chance, had an opportunity, but it's been stripped away from him. Meanwhile, oh, here's the push into the B side. Masuta with an opener. This is where they're going to try and find Shoxi. They want to isolate this one fight over in middle, and so they've managed to get that. Masuta and Zaiwu have been given free reign of B as Nip try to play a numbers game. A three on two retake at this B bomb site. Yeah, fast flank from under, though. Plopski in a very good position. His teammates can't afford to die in market first. They've just got to wait for Plopski to get set up before they commit. More than enough time here for Nip. Zaiwu so with the health. Masuta. Oh, he does clear out that flank. Now it's double market. He can afford to die to set Zaiwu up for this clutch. Can he find the info? Zaiwu's got it. One and two. Masuta burnt out, but he gets the kill before he perishes. And Vitality, they always find a way to win these man down rounds. Even with that little whiff from Shocks out in middle, recovered well. And you've got to give it to Vitality how they make that call to go towards B, right? They'd already killed the AWP today. They had no idea that Hampus was double AWPing. But look at that smoke they throw deep, uh, deep apartments. They didn't have enough flashbangs to get an AWP off. They didn't want to telegraph it like that. So they just threw a smoke. It completely screws Hampus's round. He tries to play on the edge of it, but it's the rifle that overwhelms. And Vitality just go back to these contact A plays. Been going very quick out ramp in many of the rounds. And this one is no exception. Couple left of the half and a very broken uh, economy for NIP. They're just looking for scraps. Oh, it's another A opener. Oh. He owes it. Keeps it in the advantage of Italian Lies. Seeing an elbow, but shocks to be the guy taking an arm and a leg. Now S Tag attempting to paint them up with damage on this scout. It might all be in vain though, right? There's the peak over the top. They've spotted Plopski over in jungle. Oh, S-Tag has nailed that. The bomb can't get across. Oh, there's that jungle smoke to facilitate it. This could still get weird. What with the AK being retrieved on S-Tag? Plopski trapped behind the smoke. And so for the time being, S-Tag is feeling the pressure to try and make something happen, to try and be that guy to kickstart a very unlikely retake. Flashes to delay it. Oh, oh spam, yeah. bringing him Sorry. even lower, and Shox is going to finish the job. Plopski, he's been waiting that entire smoke timer to play into the round, and even though he's tapped out Apex, he's still got a lot to do. Time is of the essence, and I think it's settling in now for Plopski. This one's unwinnable. It's another round for Vitality. Try as Nip might. And you mentioned how the money was already in a rough spot coming into that round. There, there really wasn't a lot to go off. Now there's even less. So Vitality are looking to solidify a very good scoreline to close out this first half. Yeah, it feels like by the time that Nip feel like they should be saving in some of these rounds, they just don't get the chance to. They don't get to get out of position or Apex is on the backstab or you're getting wall banged on your retreat. Never able to keep anything going. One gun is all that's dragged into this final round. Oh, these final two rounds. Nip. Little eco around the weapon. Gonna go for the G2 under boost, get res into middle. Lots of different approaches to mid for NIP. But as the half has waned on, Vitality have been uh -oh. taking it lesser and lesser. Now they know where that came from, but Shox can't seem to find a shot through the smoke. So I would get sprayed through one. But an irretrievable gun, at least for the moment. You've got to be having res float, right? You've got to be throwing him wherever you see contact from Vitality. And right now it's silent across the map. Regroup towards that A site where Vitality have had a lot of success just sending everyone together. The Shocks want a late lurk middle. Also protect this gun or the route to it. Meanwhile, Vitality, it's not like they're going for a smoke exec. They are just walking up ramp with a flash. I mean, Kyojin's been so good at getting these openers. Can he keep that going now? Can he keep up appearances? He knows where... One of these bodies are that Molly is going to force S Tag out of position and one into oh. default as well. Both players mollied. Plopsky gets one on the swing, but will be traded by Apex. You've this still is here. got M4 on res, and that's back in CT. Shox is cutting down the rotates over in mid and now learns about this the Eagle. Rez might be the guy to try and make a round oh. happen. And there's a little double up from him. Now just Shoxy left to beat. Bomb dropped. Rez behind triple. And Shox, is he aware? He doesn't look like he has any idea. Rez is holding the stairs, but Shox is walking up on him. Oh no, Rez! Shot up the side of the head! 
Shocks with the speed, with the pace, gets up in his face and finds another round for Vitality. Res his heroics. He gets two out of three, but it's not enough. Yeah, three in the round as well. You got a feel for him as well. He made the perfect reposition to get to triple. Shocks didn't see him cross. The cool was CT, but he never considered just being insta walked up on bench side. Really nice try. Good shots from Res. And that opener to Zaiwu as well, but it means nothing, Harry. At this point in the game, it's rounds or bust. And more the latter. Final round of the half, a nip. It got everything at least, but well, not device. Yeah, it's a fast cat to be. Plopsky. He's gone. The Orpa Res traded after oh, one. Brutal. And even though Hampus has moved around, even though he's in the market, he's all alone. He's got to try and essentially, you know, 1v3 this B hold because his teammate is so far away. Hampus, what can he do? Oh, oh it's ugly. Oh, the flash. Oh. It's really gross. Sai Wu is going to delete him. And S Tag's left in the clutch. Not long for this world, you'd imagine. They've spotted him. They've seen him. They're chasing him down. They want 11 of 4, and they want it now. S Tag at this point just delaying the inevitable, it feels like. He's getting pushed through the market door, but Apex steals it away before all is said and done. Ah, crumbs, that's good. And, you know, truthfully, with NIP having a, a very, you know, I don't even want to say it should just be 7-11 on the board, right? There should be very little room for things to get weird in this round. With that happening, Full suddenly, beast. you know, yeah, you know, the full beast tag actually. <laughs> no, 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 it's fine. Keep talking. Yeah, it should be fine. They're, they're starting to dismantle it. They're starting to move away. And so actually it went from everyone at B to now just two over in the B bomb site. So it's standard. It's what we're used to. Shocks is tucked in with that MP9 at truck. So maybe could oh. do some damage. There's one. No oh, making no a double. Way. Shocks on the MP9. Oh. Even gets a dink to Plopsky. That has really softened them up. They don't know about Zai Wu, but they will go back and flush him out. Masuta all alone. This wasn't meant to get too interesting, but Vitality, they can't help but entertain. Oh, this might be the end of the line. This might be the curtain call for Masuta in this one on three. Oh, but imagine if Shock's got the third there. Oh, he could have been so good. <laughs> it? Well, Masuta, what could he do? Oh, knows he was going to get swung from the site the moment he peeks. And he does. Now wins only half the battle, Hugo. You know what the other half of the battle is? The battle. Ah, that adds up. 7 to 11, Harry. I'll have a Slim Jim. What about you? I don't even know what that is. I think it's a hot dog. Is it? I don't know. America's crazy. Yeah, it's, you know, I, I'm never one for just saying something hoping that I got the definition right, but that's cool. <laughs> um, <laughs> Double orb. All right. Straight in. We have one of those on the CT side for Nip, and it got nothing done. Device got spammed out triple, and Hampus got smoke walked on B. Let's see if this one's any more successful for the Vitality side. Zywu and Shox. Same positions for the orbs, or at least similar as I was in window. Shocks has got those B apartments. Ramp smoke fading, and a man behind it to worry about his S tag. Meanwhile, mid's getting taken very late in the round. Cleared from under Kyojin. Playing with fire there will eventually give it up, but he's done good damage to S tag. Con smoke, window smoke synced for Nip. They're going to get that free mid control with only Masuta here to stop it, but he needs to get that util out before he takes a fight. Try and get some value from his investment. Molly and Con would be a good time, but Rez on the little lip of the short side is going to survive for now. Nade almost Whoa. finishes the job, and now Nip again just walking through this Con smoke into the A site. Yeah, with Apex, Zai Wu, and Kyojin all here, ready to put a stop to this. It's not plain sailing. It's not simple. And Apex is making that so. A hat trick from him. Oh, make it a fault. He's on for the ace. And only S Tag left. Give it to him. Give it to him. Apex wants all five. And now oh, S Tag's stolen it away. The ace denied. Tut, tut, tut. S Tag says, nah, mate, not today. Not today, Apex. You can have the round, though. You know, you could win the series, you could win the round, it doesn't matter, but you ain't having the ace, baby. 12 on the board for Vitality. He might not have gotten all the kills in the round, but he certainly got all the glory with that a-hole. Yeah, Apex is such a perfectionist. You know, he that, He's not happy with that. He wanted all of them. You know, the amount of times you see Apex, you know, looking pissed, head in the hands, or in, like, Vitality or winning. 
Well, that's a looted nip. Not only is that a looted nip, but their own economy is now called into question as well. And really, at this scoreline, this late in the game, if Vitality go 13-7 up and you're broke on the nip side, it might just get stolen away from you on the back of money alone. Vice is so ready for this close peak that Kyojin's been going for time and time again. Posted for it, so confident, but the rest of his team over towards B and middle right now. Device gonna walk out. He won't be able to clear this corner. Surely Kyojin going wide though, that could be a problem. Device, oh, swung from bench side. It's just a dry fight for Apex to open up. And now your entire round is thrown into disarray if you'll nip. The bomb's rewriting ramp, Harry, but not only did they never see Kyojin, but S tag is alone. The orb is irretrievable if Kyojin wants to make it so. And while you've got Hampus into window, a bit of a classic play, that's actually going to send the bomb doubling back. Saibu's so orb's been seen. Hampus has the round in the palm of his hand. Both players close as well, and I love it. He's holding this shot. Can he find both kills? If he walks in and he doesn't check bench, he thinks Shocks is short, surely. Oh. The barrel! Oh, the, the barrel! barrel. The barrel. The barrel. open, oh. guys! He's got him both! Yes. Dead to rights! An NIP with a B site. For a second, I thought he oh, didn't see. Yeah, it got a little bit worrisome, didn't it? But Hampus has delivered the miracle Ooh. twosome that might have saved the day for NIP. Vitality, do they even want to give this a go? No, they don't. They just throw in the towel. They say, NIP, you, know what? you can have this round. It's not really worth them giving it this look in just yet, right? They're going to get out with the double AWP in play. You don't want to bring that into the retake. You don't want to put another... Uh, Another weapon in the hands of someone like S-Tag. Take it. I'll juggle there we them go. Putting a weapon in the hands of S-Tag. Yeah, was bound to happen. <laughs> oh, Apex okay. wants to try and take him away. Oh. oh, no. oh. Could have gone worse. <laughs> you keep, yeah, keep the double orb. You're I feel fine. like we kind of cursed every possible yeah. uh, engagement there, apart from the Hampus one. Eight on the board now for NIP. That little window boost comes in so clutch. A part of me wondered when Zywoo killed Plopsky hanging around under window, if that was something they would consider, right? This idea of boosting up into the window. But they never did. They never saw it coming. Yeah, I've seen so many rounds where you go for that play and you, you, you know, oh, come dude, I already know what you're going to yeah, say. You look for the double and you either get held or, you know, you only get one because you can't find the second short player. Yeah, it's, it's, Very it's fortunate the trigger side discipline side based play, it looks like although he doesn't take it. So Kalami confused, throwing grenades into middle instead. Gyojin still close ramp, round after round. Flash is drawing Zywoo off, but ooh, as a smoke pops, so does the AWP. Dropping hampers, running up connector. And again, this is something that Nip have just done round after round, walking into this A site through the con smoke. It's not going to be a surprise to Zywoo, but the timing. Which side of the smoke do you hold? And it's the right one for Zywoo. Kyojin Molly, no worries, and he takes down S Tag as well, smokes it for his escape, and Vitality, nothing can go wrong in this round. Yeah, also, Molly's are just BS as well. Like, you're worried that that's going to climb up the pot. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. On top of this, like, he smoked it, so now the illusion is, I'm not playing ramp anymore. Why would I still be here? I dropped this smoke. Maybe they don't oh. check it oh. now. <laughs> Unfortunately, Kyojin blows his load a little too soon, doesn't he? Apex will chase oh. down the trades, and this guy, he's better at edging them out, isn't he? There's one looking for Plopski. It's just that pro state, Harry. It, it, yeah, he's, he's in, in the it. pro state right now. Plopsky, all alone, one on four. <laughs> Milking this for all it's worth. 35 seconds left. But it's Apex getting ahead, wrapping around the back of Palace. Plopsky is boxed in, although he doesn't know it, and he's walking into Zaiwu's orb, so his time may be limited. Head triangle. And he's got it. His backstab still here, though. Apex might not commit. He might just yeah. double back Palace. He's still got a good position to stop a plant. There's only 12 seconds. Molly ooh, is ooh, so ooh. important. Can he cross to the site, though? Not stopped by the stairs player. It's a plant at least, oh, but Apex no, is here. Baby. And the Molotov will seal the deal. It's Vitality with the instant retake. Never got worried. A bit of money for Nip, but it's a consolation at best. It's a real good effort out of Plofsky. Uh, you know, you couldn't have asked for more there. Dude's 1v5, and he got it to a point. He got it as far as he could into making that clutch look doable. But with the utility left on uh, on the Vitality squad with so little time, you know, when there's six seconds, th th there's no room for mind games anymore. You know, like, when they hear you tap the bomb, you're planting the bomb. And so it's very, very easy to uh, to respond to that with, with utility, and they just molly him out.
that into eight. And that plant, you know, at least makes you a little better off if you're NIP. Gives you a little bit more to work with here up against the incumbent Vitality squad. Oh dear, Hampus the Firewalker, how does he do it? Steel shoes. His toe's getting cooked there, gonna have to give it up and wrap back. Now this rotate's getting heard. Top middle is Zaiwu, he might be hearing. Hampus running right back through T-spawn and he knows no one's middle. Molly comes into B, Shock's buying time. Popsky had to go, he couldn't have waited around and he gets that kill. Jumping, flashed, finds the AWP and he's gonna pick it up quick as well. Nip bound into the empty bomb site. No one is here. Vitality are locked out by Util. It's only Zaiwu trying to stop the cross. The bomb has made it in though, even with Hampus gone. So they were running back to save, but then Zaiwu bored into the four on four and suddenly that's reinvigorated and uh, sorry, Vitality with low health on both S-Tag and Plopski. Mm. This is not a done deal yet for Nip. They've got to fight tooth and nail to hold on. And S-Tag, well, the claws are out and he's on for a double. Apex playing with smokes, playing with fire. Him and Zaiwu have combined oh, for right. a killer piece. Now just Zaiwu left, but he is running for the hills. He is out of there. NIP up onto nine. S-Tag with a phenomenal double to open it. And the moment those kills came in, the fate of Vitality was very much decided, right? Four on four wasn't going to happen. We're just two left, you know, having. Yeah, it's a reasonable attempt. You don't want to be the, you know, VPing it where you all leave, one guy gets a kill, and you go, actually, we would have won it if we were all here. Yeah. You, know, you make that quick decision and you believe in it. At the end of the day, whatever the call is, it, it, you've got to have faith. Whether you like it or not, it's not about that. It's bigger than that, Harry. Got to trust the in game leader. So, a nice attempt, but that is going to cost you in money and in rounds and in momentum. Nip are building back into this game. It's not Inferno anymore. 13 to nine. And T sides, well, they haven't really been the bread and butter of NIP. They're chowing down on some rounds. The final buy for Vitality. Presuming they don't win it. Back to pistols. An A attack, but as we've said, these A attacks have really been the heavy mid takes for Nip that have split through Con. This time it's the inverse. It's more of a standard Round, just walking out ramp. Still no smokes though. And three CTs here. Vitality seem pretty convinced and for good reason. Now a fourth actually. Apex even kind of swinging between window and jungle. And he's just gonna go, well, I don't want to peek mid. I don't really have the, the equipment for it. But what I'll do is I'll make sure they can't get up into the window and get one of these backstabs off. And that also leaves me that much more responsive to the A site. I doubt he said all of that. <laughs> right, there would have been quite a mouthful, and they probably would have said, comms, mate, you know, I'm trying to hear. Down. But Apex is dead over in jungle. We need someone else Ooh. to trade these out. Shocks goes unaccounted for and is in for a double. Now Kyojin with two of his own. Oh, ho, 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 make it a third. As Kyojin lays waste to NIP. Oh. 14 on the board for Vitality. Everyone in the right place at the right time. And it felt like, you know, if you're Nip there, you're going into the lion's den, man. You deal with one and suddenly two more heads of this beast grow back. One. You're just looking at double force buys to stop Vitality from shutting down this series and running even further through the upper bracket. I can't say hope is the flavor of the day. More missed window smokes. Both teams have done it. And so look at the space taken by Vitality. They've got to worry about under, though. They're getting walked through that smoke. And Apex, oh, he doesn't know, but now he does. Missed shot from the Deagle. Traded at range, but the Tech 9 is something. And now Nip are ready to pop B. Yeah, Masuta is here. Masuta is always someone who's good in these anchor positions, right? When he needs to put up, you know, really like oh, two, he's ah. going to get you that. So there's the first. Hampers brushed aside. Jesus, Shox is on a solo adventure here. He's playing a completely different game. He's all the way through top middle, and he is the running back. Now he's going to try and hit a timing. He's the waiting bomb. to catch the bomb. Shox, take the peak. Take the peak, Shox. Take the shot. Come on this now. This is fine. This is Let fine. Let him he's, go, because yeah, he knows now it's the A play. He's pieced this one together, so look at Masuta moving over towards A. Because of Shox's patience, oh my goodness. everyone Round's is over. on the right side of the map. That's the bomb dropped. And at that point, if you're Nip, now you know that A is stacked. You either willfully walk in to a padded bomb site, or you go back and try and pick a fight with Shoxy. Yeah, he says, take the bomb, have it, but you're not getting it planted. Walking into the hornet's nest, and the stinging will start. Zai Wu taking down s -Attag. and Blopsky, not long for this world, does find a kill, grabs a gun, but can't pull it out in time. It's 15 rounds to Vitality.
Really good play from Shocks. That's not a pug play at all. That's the opposite. Many players would have started running when they hear those footsteps, yeah. just trying to get the kills while they had them. I'm guilty. Instead, of that. Yeah, I know you are. Shocks. <laughs> That's for the screenshot. Three of course, of course. Three, yeah, we're way too deep for the screenshot, Harry. But uh, no, Shocks just knows he can win the round by telling his team. As long as Nip don't know that he knows what they're doing, right. then Nip are just walking into the unknown. That's a perfect play. And it's 15 rounds, Harry. It's do or die now for Nip. Yeah, very exciting to see Vitality looking like this, though. I, I do just want to kind of remind you, like, right now, Zaiwu, uh, one of the bottom performers for Vitality in this map, it hasn't made a lick of difference. And that is even with, uh, you know, Device having some of those all right moments early on in that first half. Apex going above and beyond. Shocks with hero plays scattered in there. Kyojin, I think, was a real force of nature on the T side when it came to getting those openers, yeah. right? Think about how much space this guy was creating. The so now we, in both halves. Exactly. Really. And so now with just pistols, right? It's all you've got left to fight back up against Vitality, who are on 15. <laughs> They're not falling for it again, Harry. Yeah, this window boost might have bested them once. For me once. All right. Shame on... Is it ye? For me twice. Shame on me. And so it won't happen. Oh, oh will it? <laughs> Ooh, Zywoo! Gonna cancel out the ramp, man, and Kyoto.